Alright folks, but you guys see, we are back on Criminal Case on Facebook. Let's unlock the Big Heist Part 6. Hey, is this true? Frank killed Danny? And Karen has helped him escape the courthouse? Yeah, they're gone. Can't believe it. Ace, you feel, must feel so betrayed. Just think, all these months we're working with Frank, and all along, he was just... Hey, not all along. The trouble started when he met Louis. Ace, I'm sure there's more to the story than what Frank told you. He never killed a man in cold blood. Chief, he confessed, and he escaped justice. An innocent man wouldn't do that. The only way of knowing the truth is to catch them. Ace, can I count on you to follow their trail? Of course, Chief. We'll bring Frank to justice and Karen, too. Ace, maybe we should start back at the dam. Good idea. And have a look at the junkyard. I could see Karen getting rid of compromising evidence there. Now go, before the trail gets cold. Yeah, but, I mean, thinking about it, I mean, Frank basically gave himself up. He was like, yep, my mistake. I did it. I'll own up to it. I'll go to jail. It was really Karen that was being a little annoying. Fuel can. I forget what the lizard is right here. Handgun. Spray can. Mousy. So a dish. Ambulance. Crowbar. Tablet. Bag of money, hard hat, no parking, snake, palm tree. Boom, baby. Oh, we got happy hour too, that's awesome. Well, I can't see the sign of Frank or Karen. Ace, did you find anything? Did this tablet not belong to them? Quick, let's unlock it. That's true. I'll investigate the junkyard though as well. Yeah, times like these when you see the ones where they uh, have the extra XP on old cases, great time to do uh, elite modes. Alright. Oh, plus a crate. Sun, skull, saw, logs, chair, uh, I forget what the padlock is, somewhere around here. Top hat, palm tree, there it is. Lantern, wind sock, hot air balloon. Not the best. All right, so if we find a clue about Frank and Karen's plans in this box, you better hurry up and go through its contents. Don't have to tell me twice, Amy. I got this. Let me unlock the tablet first, though. <sighs> Almost. Your instincts were spot on, Ace. This must be Karen's tablet. Let's get it to hand. She'll unearth Karen's dirty little secrets in no time. She will. Oh, top secret confidential. What's this floor you found in the box? Hey, let's open it and see what's inside. Oh my goodness, is that plutonium? With everything that's happened, I completely forgot about the plutonium theft at the casino. I agree, Ace. I can't see Frank being interested in this, but Karen might have been. Let's retrieve the faded parts quickly. Yeah, someone someone seems to think that maybe Karen is putting him up to all of this. I wouldn't put it past that conniving little witch. What's that message you retrieved? The plan cannot fail. So we were right, the plan must refer to the heist, which means its real purpose was to get the plutonium. I agree, we should get this file to Hannah, see what information you can gather from the rest of the papers. For sure. 18 hours, man, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of stars. Pitching Ace 88, au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. Let's finish this off. Well, Ace, Karen's clever. That tablet you found out the dam didn't have a single confidential document on it. However, a shopping list of sort caught, caught my eye. A 
A shopping list? Frank betrays us? And Karen and he are fugitives? And you ever think a shopping list is important? Well, hear me out. The list was about getting protective headgear, water bottles, food rations, sunscreen, everything they need a trip to the desert. The desert? You mean Karen and Frank have escaped to Ryan Canyon? No, they wouldn't need such protective gear in Ryan Canyon. I think they've gone to the waste. Oh my gosh, the waste? You mean no man's land? East of here? But nobody ever goes in there anymore, and the entire region has been sealed off. Well, it makes a perfect place to hide. Ace, you should ask Ross, Roxy about it. She's gone there a couple of times. Yeah, Mini Ace makes a lot of cute sounds, but man, he is just... Oh. Thinking of uploading a video of his uh, sounds, because we have just clips of his sounds. I think, it, I think it'd be fun. Ace's file you found in the junkyard is amazing. It contains all the information about the heist and the plutonium theft. Turns out Karen was behind it all. Frank may have tipped the gang off on your investigation, but Karen was the real sixth man. She organized the entire heist as a diversion so Louis could steal the plutonium from the vault. Yeah, except things didn't go as planned. Because Louis was killed before he could get the plutonium. But it was still stolen. Did Karen get it herself? No, according to the file, Frank stole it for her. While you were investigating Louis' murder, it was a risky plan, but clever. After all, he went to the vault with you, Ace. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So, Frank Frank really did all of this voluntarily? Stealing? Killing a man? Ace, would you mind if we talk to Russell about this? I mean, he's a profiler. Maybe he could explain why Frank did all this. Yeah, right. We all know you just want to see your new boyfriend. Oh yes, we all know about the kiss. You're speaking nonsense, Hannah. Come on, Ace. Let's go see what Russell can tell us about Frank's motives. That is right. Yeah. On Elite Modes, I don't mind spoiling a little bit because, again, I already have the case uploaded at, at different sections, so you can easily just go there. You think Karen and Frank saved the waste ace? That makes sense, actually. I went there when I was working on a thesis about the effect of dry weather on my body decomposition. That region's really dangerous. The sandstorms are massive, and the soil is polluted from years of shady experiments. No wonder it's been sealed off. Frank and Karen probably thought this would be the last place anyone would ever look for them. Yeah, but Frank should have known better. Ace always finds the truth. Well, to be honest, I still have a hard time believing Frank did any of this. Ace, why don't we go out for drinks tonight? The team needs to stick together, and here's enough money to pay for the first round. Man, you know how to party. You should be dropping 20 grand on, a f on the first round. Hey, Amy, say, I was wondering if you'd like to go to dinner. Well, I'd love to go to dinner with you, but it'll have to wait. We need to catch Frank first. Oh, of course. Ace, if there's anything I can do. You can tell us that Karen manipulated Frank, and he's actually innocent. Do you know he sold the plutonium himself? Unfortunately, I'm sure he did it of his own free will. What's the one thing Frank always talked about with regret? His family. He hated himself for losing his wife and kids. And look what happened after he betrayed us. Not only did Car Karen get back with him, she also helped him escape. So you think Frank did all this willingly just to get his family back? It's a possibility. He must have thought the reward was worth betraying you, Ace. Now, before you head out, please let me buy your burgers. You both look like you're going to fall faint at any second. Well, Ace, I somehow hope we find proof that Frank has been manipulated by Karen, but it seems he's all this willingly. Well, at least we know that Karen was after plutonium in the vaults. What could she want with it, though, I wonder? Well, we'll need to catch him before we can get the answer, but thanks to you, we know that we're heading to the waste. You're right, we can't foolishly run off to such a dangerous place. Let's see if Hannah can help us out. So you're doing it, Ace. You're going after Frank. Well, what other choice do we have? We can't just let him escape justice. Yeah, but seriously, you're going to the waste? It's madness. We need to stop Karen before she uses the plutonium for some evil scheme. Can you help us or not? Actually, I can. I ordered a couple of top line helmets a little way back because I wanted to study them. These should protect you from the sandstorm and the pollution in the waste. Great, Ace. Let's go to the armory and get those helmets. Still can't believe that Amy and Ray Russell. I can definitely. Kind of called it. I kind of caught it from way back. They were hinting at it a lot. Oh, 
Okay, so handkerchief, pliers, skull, calculator, shooting target, crowbar, t-shirt, battering ram, coffee pot, trap door, no smoking, bazooka, plastic fragments, handcuffs. Oh yeah, that's right. The helmet looks like uh, Halo helmets. Drats. You think those broken pieces are the helmet hand told us about? I really hope you can repair it. So do I. So do I. Great job, Ace. This helmet looks as good as new. I guess we're all set, but you're right. We should go talk to Roxy before we leave. She's the only person we know who's actually gone to the waste before. She may have some good advice. It's true. Hey, you need a bit more than this helmet to endure the unforgiving weather in the waste. Well, that's why we're here. Do you have any advice? Apart from telling you not to go there. Take lots of water, avoid the sandstorms as much as possible, and do not get lost or you'll die. Well, that's very encouraging. Thank you, Roxy. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you, Ace, and make sure you wear a suit with that helmet. It'll help protect you against all the crap in the waste. Nice. Ace, I've heard your report, so Frank and Karen have escaped to the waste, have they? They must have lost their minds. Appreciate your courage in going after them, but be warned, this will not be easy. You'll be in more danger than you've ever been before. We understand, Chief, but we must do it. Well, good luck. And whatever happens over there, keep yourself safe. Now go, Ace. There's not a moment to lose. Gold ring, baby. Oh, we've unlocked a new outfit. We can now be... Jack Sparrow. You must be the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. That's a great line. But guys, that's going to wrap up this one. I hope you guys are excited for the next case, which is going to come out Thursday. So I'm pitching 88. Over and out.